Good morning, and welcome to this morning's devotions. Oops, I moved this. <laughs> it is uh, Wednesday, October 6th. Uh, this morning I'm reading from Andre Nguyen's You Are the Beloved. Um, this morning's is called Make God's Unconditional Love Visible. Whenever, contrary, contrary to the world's vindictiveness, we love our enemy, we exhibit something of the perfect love of God, whose will is to bring all human beings together as children of one Father. Whenever we forgive instead of getting angry at one another, bless instead of cursing one another, tend one another's wounds instead of rubbing salt into them, hearten instead of discouraging one another, give hope instead of driving one another to despair, hog instead of harassing one another, welcome instead of cold-shouldering one another, Thank instead of criticizing one another, praise instead of maligning one another. In short, whenever we opt for and not against one another, we make God unconditional love visible. We're diminishing violence and giving birth to a new community. Well, that makes me think of um, the Obamas talking about going high instead of going low. If they go low, we go high. Um, trying to keep it at a, at a higher level of consciousness, of, of, of care. Um, but sometimes the world's not used to getting that. <laughs> sometimes the world, people in the world are used to the, the negative. One example, we first moved into this house in uh, June of 2006, 2006. And we had done some work in here to get it ready. And we had um, the kitchen, we needed to remodel. We needed to move the sink from the wall to the, uh, below the the window, and some electric electric um, electrical work needed to be done as well as plumbing. Well, I remember having the electrician come in, and he was great. I mean, he Ariana loved him too. Ariana was here, and she was two years old. Yeah. And um, after he left, I was so impressed with the work. I called the supervisor at his at his place, and uh, I asked for him. He answered the phone. I said, I said, John, I just wanted to tell you, you know. I am so thankful and so impressed with the worker that you sent out here. It was such a great job. I just want to thank you for that. And I heard silence and, uh, uh, well, thank you. We're not used to, I'm not used to getting, I'm used to getting yelled at instead of a, a complimentary phone call. Um, sometimes we're just not used to getting the positives. <laughs> we're waiting for the other shoe to drop. And I don't know if that's just my Swedish and Norwegian heritage. I don't think so, but, um, you know, when Jesus did, contrary to what they should have done, forgive them for they not do not know what they do, you know, um, instead of casting lightning bolts down on his, uh, the people who, who hung him on the cross, and those who condemned him to death, um, turned around and forgave and uh, uh, healed the world in the process of healing the world and making it whole. And uh, for us to have just a bit of that when we can, glimmers of light of God's love. It goes a long way. It goes a long way. Anyway, um, let us pray. Gracious and loving God, help us, to have, help us show your light through us to others and take the high road and do all those things that, that Henri was talking about, forgiving, you know, hugging, uh, all these things that uh, we could have a choice and to choose the high road. Um, bless us always. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, until tomorrow, peace.